Wow, World War III is about to start. Russia has just literally called out the United States and challenged them to World War III. Is your family safe? Are your family prepared for World War III, according to Russia and the United States? And who could have warned you about this in advance? What is happening is that Putin, the head of Russia, is now warning United States plus Europe, which is NATO, right, warns NATO, that the risk of a World War III is pretty big now because Ukraine is about to get these long range missiles directly from the United States and Europe. See, what's been happening so far is that all the war has been fought inside Ukraine. Yes, there are Russians who are unalived and there are Ukrainian soldiers who are unalived, but whatever happens, all the bombs get dropped inside Ukraine. Nothing happens, nothing happens inside Russia. But once Ukraine gets these long range missiles to go and attack inside Russian cities, then it's on for young and old. Then we got World War III. And of course, that's what you expect Putin and Russia to say. You see, everything we've been seeing on the news has actually just been happening inside Ukraine in this zone, right? Donetsk and all these states, Crimea, right? But now, because Ukraine is getting a little short on men or numbers, so they're basically pulling a desperate move, which is attacking Russia inside Russia, which hasn't happened yet for the last two years until, say, the last two weeks, two, three weeks of the war. They're bomb about to get permission to bomb all these cities. And they're already attacking ma a major city inside Russia with his troops called Kursk. Listen to Putin's direct response. Direct involvement. Wow. So all this time, Russia, right, and the United States have been pretending they're not fighting each other. Russia and NATO are pretending they're not fighting each other. It's only a war between Russia and Ukraine. But as you just heard, what Putin's saying now is that if Russia itself gets bombed, then that technology, that missile, those satellite guidance coordinates must be coming from NATO. And therefore, he recognizes that Russia will be fighting United States and Europe and fighting NATO. And that's pretty much World War Three, buddy, with the involvement of China on the Russian side as well. But who could have predicted this? Yeah, you remember that it was Pablo who said more than nine months ago that there won't be an announcement date for World War Three, right? Just like World War One, World War Two, they won't have an official announcement date. It's not like the NFL kickoff, right? They won't tell you when it starts, right? They all started with these regional conflicts, right? And now it's Russia versus Ukraine. And then all of a sudden we're into World War Three. Remember I said a month ago that World War Three probably already started because this war between Russia and Ukraine has already started. Now it's just branching out and spreading out to involve US, Europe directly, and probably going to drag China into all this conflict as well. Remember I made video after after a video warning you guys, are you ready? Are you and your family prepared for this? Because this is looks like it's coming now. But you gotta ask, the timing of this all seems very peculiar, doesn't it? Because we've got a US election just in two months time. Well, guess what, right? This whole Russian-Ukraine war has been done, has been pushed under the Biden Democrats government. I'm not anti-Democrat, I'm not pro-MAGA, I'm not pro-Trump, I'm not pro-anybody. I'm just telling you who's been who's been giving the weapons, right? The, the long-range missiles that Putin is threatening World War III over, who's been giving them those things and weapons in the last two years and lots of money? It's the government of the United States. Which government? It's the Democrats. And now they want Harris, Kamala Harris to be elected. So they need to have a win, right? Because they've been they've been planning, they've been they've been pushing for this war for the last two years. Of course, Putin has some fault of his own as well. Both sides are probably at fault. You could say that, and so therefore the U.S. side needs to show some results for all that money and weapons spent, right? They need a win, and with that win, then they can say, "Oh, we achieved this objective. We defeated Russia. Yada 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 yada. Blah blah blah." And therefore, you should vote for Kamala Harris. And so, therefore, we're going to see this thing accelerate in the next two months because the United States, especially under Biden slash Harris government, is going to push for a win here, right? 
And once again, I'm not pro-Harris or pro-Biden or pro-Trump. I'm just telling you what is happening in the world. And overall, what do we do with our money if World War III is about to break out? Well, look at the richest, one of the richest countries in the world. Saudi Arabia Central Bank is secretly, secretly buying 160 tons of gold and gold price therefore just made a new all time high again, right? In words, probably gold is the most reliable thing. Bitcoin, well, that's kind of a judgment call. It might do well, it might, or it's never been tested in a world war. So it's, what do you think? Tell me in the comments.